Hi, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, I want to cover entacapone side effects. And the video was prompted from a question uh, from a reader who was suffering from diarrhea. And it was pretty severe diarrhea after starting entacapone. And so the question basically revolved around, is it common? Do I need to stop it? What can I do? Those sorts of things. And I thought it would be a good opportunity to go over some of the other side effects that are involved with entacapone. Uh, diarrhea is one of them, by the way, and we'll get into that. But so I want to hop right into it real quick. Um, I say this a lot on the videos where I cover side effects. It's helpful to know what the drug's doing in your body because that's generally going to tell you some of the side effects you can experience. So real quickly, entacapone is what's called the COMT inhibitor. And basically it inhibits an enzyme and it allows the concentrations of levodopa to be more sustained in your body. So entacapone is for Parkinson's disease and most Parkinson's patients are on a product called Cinemet. And I've done videos on, on Cinemet before and it's got levodopa in it. And the idea is to get more of that levodopa into your brain so it can be converted to dopamine. Basically, entacapone helps more levodopa get into the brain, produce more dopamine. That's what we're trying to accomplish. Now with that comes some possible side effects because of the actions of increasing those levodopa concentrations. And the first one is what we uh, refer to in the medical community, it's dyskinesia. So that's involuntary, even erratic body movements. And it can be fairly common, it's 25% of people. We also get nausea in around 14% of people. And this person that was asking this question was suffering from diarrhea and nausea, um, which is very common. It's very con common with cinnamon. And part of that is the breakdown that we get of the levodopa outside of the brain area in our periphery. And so that's where we give people carbidopa to try to counteract some of that. But it makes sense that you're seeing some nausea or possibly when you take entacapone. The next is the diarrhea. In this person's case, one out of 10 people are gonna experience diarrhea. In some cases, it's severe. And going back to answering his question, is it something that's likely to go away? Not in my experience, um, you know, and it's something actually that can pop up later on. You can start it, not have any issues, then see it pop up later. So in my experience, when we start the entacapone, if we see diarrhea, it's a tough one to keep going on. Uh, generally doesn't go away. So that's the bad news about it. Um, hyperkinesia is another side effect. We see that's just excessive movement. Again, we see that in roughly 10% of people. And then we have dizziness as a side effect at 8%. So entacapone can be a really helpful drug um, for people with Parkinson's. At the same time, it doesn't come without some potential problems in the form of side effects as you saw here. I do want to point out, if you have Parkinson's, if you know somebody who has Parkinson's, there are other options that they can look at. I cover that in my free report. You can go to curtis-alexander.com. I'll put a link in the description. Just sign up for that and I'll, I'll send you some of that information. So I hope the video was helpful. Uh, any questions, post them in the comments. I appreciate if you subscribe, like the video, but really helpful in the comments if you know if you let me know other videos that would be helpful for me to cover any questions that you need answered so until the next video i hope this was valuable i hope it was helpful and i will see you in the next one thank you